numerous disastrous coal mine explosions and fires that occurred early in this century were widely publicized. They aroused a groundswell of public indignation that demanded action to prevent the tragic loss of life and destruction of property. As a result, the Bureau of Mines was established in 1910 by an act of Congress. Since then, the investigation of the causes and means of preventing mine fires and explosions has been a continuing activity of the Bureau of Mines. Bituminous coal dust, with or without methane, can also be the fuel to start an explosion. An overheated resistance coil will readily ignite bituminous coal dust. Other common causes of ignition are arcing in starting boxes from loose connections or short circuits. was shown in an earlier demonstration, bituminous coal dust alone is explosive. Now, on a much larger scale, will be shown what can happen in a coal mine where rock dusting is not practiced. Seven hundred pounds of coal dust is distributed on shelves for a distance of 350 feet along the main entry of the Bureau's experimental mine. This sets up a condition that is ideal to trigger a disastrous coal mine explosion. 